Chapter 5 Introduction to PowerPoint Children have you ever noticed that occurrence of events in systematic way makes a story interesting and enjoyable in the same way systematic display of information in a presentation makes it useful and interesting nowadays computer presentations are very popular they are used almost everywhere be it schools banks hospitals or any business organizations in computers you can create your presentations using a presentation software the presentations in computers contain text pictures charts diagrams audios videos and animated special effects they are a collection of slides which look like the pages of a book these slides are grouped together to form a slide show in other words a slide show is an electronic presentation displayed on a computer screen in this chapter you will study about powerpoint which is the most popular presentation software used nowadays powerpoint provides basic slide templates such as schedules and diagrams it offers ready made themes with professional images font groups and pre selected color schemes Users can also apply different backgrounds to slides and insert their own diagrams and pictures. PowerPoint also includes basic grammar and spell checking tools. Customization features for PowerPoint lets users add animated effects to the content and transitions between slides such as fading slides in and out. Sound clips can be inserted to play audio during presentation. Starting PowerPoint. To start PowerPoint application, follow these steps. Click on the start button, then click all apps. Click on PowerPoint application. The backstage view of PowerPoint will appear. Click on blank presentation. The presentation window will appear. Components of PowerPoint window. PowerPoint window consist of the following components title bar it displays the name of the presentation on which you are currently working quick access toolbar it is located just above the ribbon it lets you access common commands such as save undo repeat and start from beginning f5 commands ribbon it contains multiple tabs each with several groups of commands you will use these tabs to perform the most common task in powerpoint slide pane it lets you work directly on individual slides slides tab it shows thumbnail version of each slide shown in the slide pane view buttons it contains four buttons normal slide sorter reading view and slide show You can see different views by clicking on these buttons. Zoom slider. You can zoom the view of slide from here. Notes pen. It lets you type speaker notes for each slide. It is located beneath the slide pen. Task pen. It gives access to interface controls allowing you to perform different task depending on what you are doing at the time. fit slide to current window it is located on the bottom right corner of the window clicking on this icon fits the slide to the pen bit you can edit your content directly from the outline view on the view tab creating a new presentation to create a new presentation follow these steps click on the file tab and navigate to backstage view Select new on the left side of the window then click on blank presentation or choose a theme a new presentation will appear you can also start a new presentation by using the shortcut command control plus n inserting images you can make your presentation more interesting and engaging by adding pictures pictures can be inserted from a file or your computer onto any slide 
PowerPoint even includes tools for finding online pictures and adding screenshots to your presentation. To insert a picture from a file, follow these steps. On the Insert tab, in the Images group, click on Pictures and you will get three options to insert the picture, namely this device, stock images and online pictures. Click on this device. A dialog box will appear. Locate and select the desired image file, then click on Insert button. The picture will appear on the currently selected slide. Saving Presentation Whenever you create a new presentation in PowerPoint, you will need to know how to save in order to access and edit it later. PowerPoint offers two options to save a file, Save and Save As. These options work in similar ways with a few important differences. Save When you create or edit a presentation, you will use the save command to save your changes. When you save a file, you will only need to choose a file name and location at the first time, then click on the save command to save it. Save as You will use this command to create a copy of a presentation while keeping the original. To save a presentation, follow these steps. Locate and select the save command on the quick access toolbar. If you are saving the file for the first time, the save as pen will appear in backstage view. You will then need to choose where to save the file and give it a file name. To save the presentation in your computer, click on browse. To save as dialog box will appear, select the location where you want to save the presentation. Enter the file name for the presentation, then click on save button. The presentation will be saved. Bit. PowerPoint automatically saves your presentations to a temporary folder while you are working on them. If you forget to save your changes or if PowerPoint crashes, you can restore the file using Auto Recover. Slideshow Once your presentation is ready, you can present it in Slideshow. In a Slideshow, all the slides of the presentation are displayed one by one on full screen. To run a slideshow, follow these steps. On the slideshow tab, select an option among the four given in the start slideshow group. From beginning, from current slide, present online, custom slideshow. The slideshow will start according to the selected option. You can use arrow keys on your keyboard to move forward or backward through the presentation. Press escape key to exit presentation mode. Bit. You can also press F5 key at top of your keyboard to start a presentation. Opening an existing presentation. To open an existing presentation, follow these steps. Click on the file tab and navigate to backstage view. Select open on the left slide of the window. Click on browse. The open dialog box will appear Locate and select your presentation, then click on Open button. If you have opened the desired presentation recently, you can browse your recent presentations instead of searching for the file. Crack it. How can you zoom the view of slides? Exiting PowerPoint To exit the PowerPoint, click on the Close button present on the top right corner of PowerPoint window. Bit you can also exit PowerPoint by clicking Alt plus F4 keys. ChapterReview.com PowerPoint provides basic slide templates such as schedules and diagrams. Sound clips can be inserted to play audio during presentation. Quick Access Toolbar lets you access common commands such as Save, Undo, Repeat, etc. A new presentation can be started by using the shortcut command Ctrl plus N. PowerPoint offers two options to save a file, Save and Save As. Once a presentation is ready, it can be presented in a slideshow.